Jay told me he sent some shit, so Been working on some man, man shit Yeah, uh Club in the morning, off like two Sip champagne when we talk about views And cut like us, we stuck in the trap Steak ain't rare, so we sending it back All of my brothers are rare, can't cap The money was quick, now we sending a few I'm down by the hundred, we starting to shoot I hit 21, just watch how we move PR in my blood, no I ain't no thug Now we in the club, we do a dub Now we on the move, he ain't no blood Alright, alright, alright all right. Thank you everyone for tuning in Artificially Genuine This is episode 5, part 1 uh, the host with the most, Fabo, uh, Fabo coming at ya. What up? It's JL, uh, creator, artist, comedian. Yes, sir. What <laughs> up? It's Big Neeks coming at you from the 805. Let's get it. Damn. Special guest. You sound special like a guest. DJ, bro. I like Let's that. Let's get it. All right. All right. Let's just jump into it. So tomorrow is going to be a special day. What? No. Kobe Day. Wait, oh, Kobe Day was the 24th. That's, oh, the 24th. That was yesterday. That was it's yesterday. all good. Oh, Come on. Yesterday. I forgot what day it was, right? Yeah. It was yesterday. It was Mamba Day. R.I.P. Kobe. R.I.P. Kobe. Uh, 823. 823 uh, is Kobe's birthday. Um, 824 is Mamba Day. And that was yesterday. So R.I.P. to Kobe. That shit the just goat. lines up all perfect. Yeah. In a sense. Yeah, it's like all numbers, bro. Ah. Yeah. 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 But, yeah, man. What's your guys' favorite moment? Of Kobe. Damn. I mean, he has so many. Like on the court? On or? the court, off the mm, court. That's, there's whatever. so many, bro. There's so yeah, many, there's but so there's many, one. man. My favorite part was every other day watching the Lakers and Kobe show out every. He was a superhero every single game. Yeah. Yes, sir. Every game for since I was seven years old all the way to I'm um, third, 28, bro. Yeah. Yeah, every every game. Have you ever seen him live? I did, man. And and there was the, the first game I ever went to. I only watched him Amazing. the whole game. I didn't watch the game. I just watched Kobe. Kobe huh? I only watched him play. I didn't care about the game itself. Yeah, almost, I just, exactly. So I was Kobe, seeing him how that, he moved yes, on the court. You did it right. Yeah, it, it was a, a full on study. It was the first time I ever saw Kobe. It was a whack game, but Kobe really showed out, and I got to like study how he played. That's awesome. And that was one of my moments of seeing him play. My That's superhero. Amazing. R.I.P. Kobe. R.I.P. Yeah, no, my favorite moments were, I mean, every final, dude, he was always the the final buzzer beater shooter. And, mm-hmm, man, broken fingers, messed up ankles. He never quit. He literally would just go up to the bench. Coach, put me back in, break his finger back into place, and let's go. He like, was, you taking machine. me out? What the yeah. fuck? Phil, calm your ass uh, down. No, sit down, bro. <laughs> Super humble. Uh, the main reason why he kept doing what he did was because, mm-hmm. like, look, there's fans out there that paid hundreds of dollars. Mm-hmm. They've never mm-hmm. came out. They've never we'll seen do, anything yeah. like this. He's not going to let them down. doesn't matter what game. He was putting out 150% mm-hmm. every game. Yeah. Yes, sir. Bro. Yes, sir. That's... How about you, Mix? I any special him, moment? Anything? I mean, I would just like to uh, just talk about what I like the most from Kobe, and it would be that anytime, you know, it would be his post uh, Post game conferences, man. Like anytime he had a microphone um, on Sports Center, I just remember, like, okay, whatever I was doing, I'm gonna stop and listen. And for some reason, I always felt that I took something positive from it. I, I learned and, you know, I experienced his greatness. And, and yep. um, you know, even when I was younger, but uh, still for the most part, man. And you know what I would say to that? Like, I almost felt like in, in a weird way, we're like, I come on, like, we kind of grew up, not grew up together, but, like, I was a kid watching him, bro. I remember the first game I watched Kobe lose, man. I'm going to say this, like, I remember I cried, man, when the Lakers, I was like, damn, man, I watched the whole game. I was, like, four yeah. years old. I watched the whole game, bro, yeah. and they lost, and I was like, damn. And I just never forget that, bro. And then it's like, you know, Kobe going through all his different things, you know, um, you know, not trying to go too deep and whatever, but at the same time, you know, you can see how he always grew up, matured, and did what he had to do, man. Yeah. And that's, that's something, like, I felt like I, I grew up, you know, not, not like that I knew him or anything, but at the same time, like, man, like... It, yeah, you were in the same solid. journey as he I'm was. Sure we're, we're in the same boat, yeah. you know oh, what I mean? Sure. We're, we're, sure. we're almost the same age, and so it, it's like... Every year was like, oh, shit, Kobe looks stronger. Oh, shit, Kobe's going to be pissed this next year, like... It was always like the 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 growth of Kobe every year. Like he was never satisfied with the position he was in. He was always working in the gym. In the gym. In the gym. Like the gym always paid and, off for him. And, and I did see him live one time, uh, and I was in the nosebleeds, and it wasn't even a special Kobe game, but it's a special Kobe game because it's Kobe, you yeah, know? Because he just dropped like twenty three, yeah. like four assists, and like 
by boards or whatever, you know. Yeah. And I don't remember if they lost or whatever, but I one thing I do always take away or I do always remember with Kobe, the way he played the game was like for some reason he never – he never felt rushed. Like whenever he made a mistake, he just always just moved finesse, yeah. right? Like in the yeah. way he moved. And it was just like, it was so confident. You know, yeah. Kobe was one of the most confident on the court, right? Oh, like that's sure. hard to be that. Like, bro, yeah. like confidence is yeah. like on the court against the best of the best. Yeah. And just yeah. like. And, I, and that's one thing I saw when he was playing is just that his dominance on the court, every move was calculated. Like he didn't guard a person too much, but he crowded the guy at the three point line just enough so he can't get the ball. <laughs> Like little movements Kobe. like that, like little 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 things that I studied about Kobe that I was just like, man, you know, like watching it from TV and then being there live yes. is a different experience. It's, yes, like yes, seeing, yes. So like, greatness, man, fuck, dude, the man. way he carried himself, like, yes. um, he never was too flashy. Mm -hmm. He was very composed, very mm -hmm. mature, yeah. uh, but the way he handled himself was was pretty awesome. Yeah. Uh, do you guys remember where you, where you were at the time when you heard the news when when he passed? Mm. Damn, I remember the exact date. Yeah, yeah. and and I remember. Uh, you, uh, Go, I, we'll I, 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 I remember, first. man. It, it's a little sad, and it's you know. First of all, you know, shots out or uh, you know, prayers to the family and all that. For and, sure, and, you know, and, and the daughter and, and everyone involved, right? And everyone involved, and even the pilot, right? And and their families and shit like that, right? So it's just a horrible situation, but. I do remember the day I was at my brother's house. Um, I I remember I used to live in the valley, working in the valley, and I would come down like on weekends and visit him, and then like so I'd be like crashing on the couch and stuff like that. And I remember my brother. This is I think this is kind of a, a good detail that like we woke up and then it just seemed like an odd day, and it was like foggy and it was yeah. just like. And then my brother's like he said something like I can't remember what he said, but it was just like it was it wasn't it wasn't. And then, you know, certain like that, we, that happened, and then and we found out that news, and it, I remember I was at his house, and then we were, uh, he just moved in, and I was, like, helping assemble him, assemble bunk beds for his daughters, and, and when I heard the news, I almost didn't want to believe it. We stopped what we're doing. Um, he didn't have cable or anything at the house, so we're just looking on our phones. Our God damn. Was, and it was just crazy, bro, like, and, you know, and it's just, you know, it's <laughs> It, 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 it's it's a terrible situation, yeah. man. Fuck so, yeah. Joel, yeah. You, do you know where you were at? What no. you were doing? I, I was going to sound fat as shit right now, but I was getting KFC around 11 o'clock. <laughs> <laughs> That's not a joke. <laughs> KFC, <laughs> KFC, yeah. It was, it was, it was no, one hey, of those for yeah, my fam. You beating the lunch rush. Yeah. Oh, you know what I mean? For sure, for sure. Damn, but yeah, my girl hit me up and randomly. I was like, what the fuck? She's like, pull over. I was like, all right, what, what happened? She's like, uh... Uh, I don't know if you're going to believe this, but something happened. And I was like, shit, I was thinking like my mom or something. Like what, what happened? Yeah. Like, what? She's like, oh, uh, Kobe was in a helicopter accident. I was like, nah. I was like, no. Nah, that's fake, bro. It's TMZ always saying everybody dies. You saw a fucking weird yeah. thing. No. Nope. No. Nah. And then I was like, wait, let me call you back. So I looked it up and Googled and it was all over the news. I was like, no, nope, nah, Damn. no. Not my superhero, dude. Yeah. Who showed up every every weekend? Nah, that was my superhero, bro. He don't. He doesn't. He's not human. Yeah, no. I agree. My superhero died, and that's what's fucked up. I agree. I start crying. Yeah, no, I agree, bro. I was uh, I was in San Francisco. I was uh, my cousins took me out. They live in San Jose, but they tri they took me out to San Francisco to go kind of check out the views. Uh, just like you, uh, my cousin sitting in the back seat. He's scrolling through TikTok, TMZ. <sighs> Fucking helicopter, the news, and I'm like, nah, there's no way. We gotta get a better, a better source. But TMZ at the time, they were kind of coming direct. So yeah. uh, we're looking for food. We're looking for arribia tacos out there. But dude, we're like, no, there's no way. We need more. We need more to find out if yeah. this was true. But shocking. And like, just like you said, it didn't hit me for like at least a couple hours. I was yeah. like, there's no way. It's this surreal. Is, yeah, it's a yeah. surreal, surreal fucking like, no, feeling. Like Kobe. that's a real surreal. Like if you the definition of it, Kobe passed helicopter. Like nah, nah. you don't want to believe it. No, you don't want to no, believe it. And then no. you just keep seeing different sources, and it's just like damn. How about man. the cartoon that literally shows? I don't know what, what it was like. Cartoon. An I didn't see that. It was a, yeah. some type of a little cartoon where like he jumped off the helicopter and shit. He crashes with he the crashes helicopter. It. It's almost like they predicted that yeah. that's how he was gonna go out. 
It was like a, it was like an anime Gatorade yeah. or Nike commercial or something like yeah? that. Yeah, yeah. It was random. It's random. Yeah. Was so it was a commercial before the years situation? years before years this. before like beginning Nike of Kobe. commercial. Nah, uh, no Gatorade like a, or something. Oh, Gatorade. You say Gatorade. Oh, I'm sorry. sorry you say something. Gatorade. Something. So, some type of little cartoony ass wow, little animation. That's crazy, but bro. They they literally predicted and, it. And and not only that though, to get the conspiracy because I don't you know I don't believe anything. I got my tinfoil hat on at all times. <laughs> Mm -hmm. But Kobe was going against the pharmaceutical company that was called the Mamba. He was going to do a lawsuit. And it was going to be a lawsuit for the Mamba name. Uh, and he was about to fight with like a medical company for billions of dollars. They're like a billion dollar con company. But this was something he was about to get into and sue this company for taking Mamba. <sighs> Yeah. So, so who knows? Allegedly, we don't know. Do your research, but R.I.P. Yeah, Kobe, R. I. P. Kobe what, and his daughter for sure. I would like uh, to say, you know, Kobe Bryant man was one of the most not even off the court, bro. Like I feel like he's one of the most like special human beings in sports in the sense of like he was deep, bro. He's like he's one of the most like the epitome of like work at work ethic can get you where you want mm -hmm. you know what i mean like he really put in the work he's a sharp dude he's like one of the most intelligent athletes i feel i'm or, or at least one of the most articulate or one of the most that i'm saying like when i mature like or just you always yeah. wanted to like what is he talking what is he what is yeah. he what, what, what i always just like damn and you know and i felt like he he was gonna do so good he was helping like female nba basketball players shit like that yeah. and he was you know, it's a sad situation, man. And it just, he was on his path. I, I feel like he, his, his, his post career would have, would have surpassed his basketball career in a yeah. sense. Maybe I'm just yeah. over speculating. He was going to be a Laker coach, bro. Or, or he was going to be the Lakers coach, bro. Whatever he was going to do, he was going to do like how he did it in basketball, dog. Yeah. And that's like right? some, some alpha, that's that mama mentality, bro. And yeah. it just, it's yeah. sad, man. And, and his company was, uh, we're about to end it right now, but his company uh, was like a part of like Fortnite when it came out. And like, they were like a, uh, I forgot what they were called, Cobell Company or something like that. But yeah. their investment company was like making a lot of money with Kobe. And Kobe was not only good on the court, investments, and he made a movie yeah. and, no. and got an award for it. Tell us what your favorite Kobe moment right, was. Uh, where were Thanks. you when they happened? But go ahead and comment down below, share, and Let follow. We'll be right back. Your favorite Kobe story. They told me he sent some shit, so we're working on some man, man shit. Yeah, uh, club in the morning, off like two, sip champagne when we talk about views and cut like us. We're stuck in the trap, steak ain't rare, so we sending it back. All of my brothers are rare, can't cap. The money was quick, now we sending a few. I'm down by the hundred, we starting to shoot. I hit 21, just watch how we move. PR in my blood, no, I ain't no.